investigation. For more on this case, let's welcome in Wesley Lowry of the Boston Globe. Good morning to you, Wesley. Alexander Bradley appeared before the grand jury yesterday. Those are secretive, but what can you tell us about that? So Alexander Bradley the, had two different court appearances. Uh, he was due in court earlier this week on Tuesday um, for a DUI charge. That actually, also involved Aaron Hernandez. Um, the report that two men had, you know, had gotten pulled over um, earlier this year after the Patriot season ended. That Bradley was driving. It was, you know, kind of a comical report um, where both men were, were pretty drunk. Um, he was due in court for that on Tuesday, and then yesterday he appeared before the grand jury. All we really know is that he was he was in the courtroom for about eight hours. Um, again, it's unclear how much of that time would have been spent with the grand jury. And when he when he left, he, he did leave with some with some detectives. Um, but again, if, if you look at the grand jury process, if you look at the charges that um, Aaron Hernandez potentially faces, Alexander Bradley could potentially be a, a pretty good witness for to bring in front of. You know, not not necessarily just on charges uh, on the murder charge, but you also look at Hernandez faces multiple weapons charges, and the point of the grand jury is to to present enough evidence to prove that there there is enough evidence here to take its trial. Alexander Bradley, a man who's been friends with Aaron Hernandez, a, a business associate with Aaron Hernandez, someone who's hung out with him, and someone who also alleges Aaron Hernandez shot him in the face would be a good person to bring in front of a grand jury if you're trying to prove that Aaron Hernandez possesses guns illegally. Uh, I mean, because again, Bradley's alleged Aaron Hernandez shot me in the face. He should probably, likely, place Aaron Hernandez with the gun in his hand. And, and so that, that is likely, again, it's unclear what exactly um, Bradley might know about the old Lloyd case. It's unclear if Bradley knows Lloyd at all, if Bradley's been very tight-lipped. But in terms of the gun charges, it, it would make a lot of sense to bring Alexander Bradley in. Wesley, is there any word on if Hernandez will be indicted in, in, as we expect, and if so, when that might actually uh, come down? You know, right now that, that's kind of a ball floating in the air. I mean, it, I mean, we 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 believe that's going to happen, but, it, but it's unclear if and when, if and when. And you know, and again, I, th I think that, that there are two things that are still really missing, and I think that the prosecution. Is, is trying to hold off, and, and one, you, you, the weapon is still missing, and second, this car mirror, which again, prosecutors have been very tight-lipped about what exactly its role plays in this case, but, but they've also been really clear that they want to get this thing. And so again, I think that they're going to bide their time. There's no rush, and you know, you've got one shot in a case like this. They're going to make sure they've got as much of their evidence as possible before, before they start you know, doing stuff like that. Wesley, it, it seems that the consensus is that the trial won't begin until next year. Is that what you're hearing? Yes, yeah, so, and that's kind of my understanding. I mean, these are going to be drawn out processes. And on top of that, when you have a celebrity case or a high profile case, the timetable is a little exaggerated, is a little pulled out um, or extended because, you got, because you've got a lot of other complicating factors. You've got, um, you know, qualified legal teams on both on both sides who are going to take their time and make sure that they're handling it the right way. You've got a little bit of a longer jury selection process because you've got a lot of people who are going to get weeded out of the jury pool because they know too much about the case, they've heard too much about the case, or they've already made their decisions about the case. I, I definitely don't expect to see, you know, a trial here beginning until the first of the year at least. Uh, and again, who knows? The other, the other ball that we still have floating in the air here is this, these double murders in Boston. Um, and what could potentially happen there? Could there be potential charges? Could this case become a larger, more broad case? Like, like I said, there are a lot of a lot of factors here. What's going to happen with Ernest Wallace and Carlos Ortiz? What will they end up being, you know, indicted on or charged with? There, there's a lot of unknowns right now, and so I, I'm definitely, you know, as much as everyone. If, you know, and the media would probably like to see this get started tomorrow. It, it's it's going to be months. And well, so you just kind of laid out the case as to why this this trial, if it, if it comes down, probably won't start uh, for for quite some time because there's evidence gathering and then everything else you just talked about. But is there any reason you're hearing or or, or that you found out that any either side may push for a, a more speedy trial? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't heard that yet, it, you know, and I think if either side was going to push forward, it would be the defense 
that would push for it. And, and, and frankly, they've been very, very tight lipped as most defense attorneys are. Uh, and, and so we're not very well sourced within the defense in what their strategy is going to be and how they're going to do that. And granted, as the grand jury period um, progresses a little bit more, we'll get a little more insight into how they're going to defend the case. But if either side is going to push for this to go more quickly, it's, it's going to be Aaron Hernandez and his legal team versus the prosecution. Because, again, if you're the prosecutor, Aaron Hernandez is behind bars. You know where he is, as is uh, Carlos Ortiz and Ernest Wallace. All of the players here you have in custody, it, it, it behooves you to take your time with this and, and make sure you've got the evidence that you've crossed your T's, that you've dotted your eyes. because, again, you get one shot in a case like this. And, and as much as everyone wants to, you know, get this done and, and do this quickly, and they, like I said, those of us in the media who kind of live in this fast-paced 24-7, if you're a prosecutor, you want to make sure you do this the right way. All right, Wesley Lowry of the Boston Globe, thanks for taking the time to join us this morning.